Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Flip Learning for English. This week we're going to be looking at reading and we're going to be looking at how you can help your child when you are reading at home. So we're going to be learning how we can tackle those tricky words, the long words that your child might not understand when they are reading. We will also be looking at some different types of questions that you can ask your child during their reading so they have a better understanding of the book. So, how can we read new words? They might be really long words, they might be words that your child has never heard of before, really, really tricky words. Well, one of the things that we can do is we can blend the sounds or blend the phonemes together. So, in this word here, we have got three sounds. Okay, we have got ch, which is two letters that make one sound, i, p. Okay, so we separate that word into the different sounds. What we can then do is we can blend them. So together, ch, i, p, ch, i. Another example is in this next sentence. The clown had a red tie. Okay, clown might be a little bit tricky for your child to read. So what we can do is we can segment the word into the different sounds and then blend them back together. So we know that we have got k, u, ow, n, and together that would read clown. Okay, why don't you pause the video, have a go at reading this sentence using your sounds and using your phonics. So, the next strategy that you can use to help you with reading tricky words or unknown words is to look for clues in the pictures. Use the pictures to help you and have a guess. Okay, so here we have a sentence. Every morning the butterfly lands in the field of flowers. Butterfly and flowers might be a little bit hard for you to read, but if you have a look at the picture, and you know the starting sounds, you can use the picture to have a good guess that it might say butterfly. Okay, the same with the flowers. Okay, the butterfly is landing in a field of flowers and you can see that from the picture. Okay, another example is you can use your reading book that your teacher has given your child um, to take home from school. Okay, so this one, this story is called Strawberry Jam. On one of the pages, it says, Dad picked some, and then that word is very, very, very long. But from reading the words before it and looking at the picture, you can see what Dad is picking. So you can guess that the word would be strawberries. If you have one of these books in your bag or at home, why don't you go and get it now and have a look if you can read some tricky words using the pictures in your book. The third thing you can do is you can split longer words up into smaller parts. So here we've got a sentence, the clouds were thundering loudly. Thundering is a really long word with lots of different sounds in it. So to make it easy for ourselves, we can split it up into different syllables. So we have got thundering. And from doing that, you can then have a good go at reading the word. Here's another example. We went on a trip to Manchester, Manchester. So you could have a really good go again at reading that really long word. Why don't you have a go at pausing the video and see if you can read this word by splitting it up into different sections. So now we've looked at three different ways that you can tackle or have a go at reading an unknown word that you might not be able to read. Now we're going to move on and look at something called comprehension. Comprehension is about the understanding of the story. Do they know what has happened? Do they understand the characters and what they are doing? It's important that children can not only read words and sentences, but they have, can understand what's going on, what they have read at a deeper level. When you're reading at home, there's different types of questions that you can ask your child when you're reading with them. So you can even start asking some questions and developing their comprehension skills before they've even started reading the book. Here are some examples of some questions that you can ask before they start reading. So they can have a look at the front cover, just like this one, the front cover, and the title. And they can have a guess, they can predict what they think the book is going to be about. So for example, in this story, what do you think the book is going to be about? 
So from looking at the picture and reading the title, we can see some ingredients. So we can guess that we think it's going to be something to do with making the jam. We don't know any of the characters yet because there's no pictures, but we can have a guess at some parts of the story. Another question that you can ask is this red question. Does this book remind you of anything else that you've read or anything else that you've seen? So they might have read a book about making a cake or making something different. So it might be the same kind of thing. The next question says, what kind of characters do you think will be in the book? Do you think that they will be animals? Do you think that they will be spacemen? Do you think that they will be children, grown-ups? So you can have a discussion with your child about what they think and why they think it. The final question is, what do you think is going to happen in this book? What do you think the problem might be? Will there be a problem making the jam? Will there be a mess? So you can use the pictures on the front covers to have a go. Okay, so during reading, while they are reading the book, you can ask questions like, what's happened so far? This will show if you've remembered what you have read. What do you think will happen next and why? If you were that character, what would you have done differently? Do they agree with what the characters have done? Where is the book set and how do you know? Do you like the character? Do you not like the character? And did you learn any new words or facts so far? When your child is finished reading, so after you've finished reading your book, you can ask them some questions to reflect on what they have just read. What was your favourite part of the book and why? Who was your favourite character and why was that? Could the story have ended differently? And did the problem in the book get solved? So finally, what I want you to do is a little challenge. If you've got your reading book from school, in your house or in your bag, go and get it and see if you can read some of the words in your book and read the story um, and also answer some questions about the story. Thank you.